So a lot of people use LogSeq and Roam for personal knowledge management. And one of those workflows looks like capturing notes from you know um, any books that you're reading and then getting them into your, your database. Now there are tools such as Readwise that do this for you on Roam and it's perfectly plugged in, but there's a really simple workaround if you don't have Readwise and it's free. So what I'm gonna show you today is just how you can get uh, highlights from your Kindle onto LogSeq very, very easily. So there's gonna be four parts. You can just navigate in the video to whichever one might be of use to you. The first part is how to find your Kindle notes on your PC. That's just a very quick one. Getting your notes into the format required. And I've set up a Google Sheets that you can use. I'll provide the link in the video description. And then how you copy your notes into LogSeq. And then just another little value add hopefully is a great tool that I've found, well, that a friend recommended for getting articles onto your Kindle from Chrome. So let's dive into it. So how to find your notes on your PC. If you just plug your Kindle into your PC via any USB port, you can go to my computer and you'll find your Kindle there. So if you just double click there and you go to documents, you will have a file called my clippings. And if you just double click that, it will open that in a text browser of your choice or a text editor of your choice. So I'd use Notepad++, but yeah, you can use anything, even Chrome. And then I'll just control A and control C to copy all of those notes. That, that's the first step, just finding the, the notes on your PC, super simple. And then I take this and I go to my file, which is called my clippings extraction. And as I said, link provided in the video description. And if you just go to this yellow block here and paste it, you can, I think recommend it. Well, I actually recommend pasting special values because depending on which um, text editor you're using, it might change the formatting. So if I just paste special and I'm say paste values, there you go. It just pastes it, pastes it in there and don't worry about the error. That's just a, a Google Sheets idiosyncrasy on Excel that works perfectly, but yeah. And then if I go to the output, you'll see here I have all of my books and um, yeah, the quotes from those books. So, so lots of different books, but now I want to copy the notes for one book in particular. So if I go home, and I just use this filter here and I say, which book do I want to use? Anything you want is a great book by Derek Sivers. Let me use that one. So then I have I filtered all the quotes that I've highlighted from that book. And you can see that it's added the markdown for LogSeq. And I just, again, copy control C and then go to LogSeq. And let me just go to that book, anything you want. There we go, created a page. I like to nest it underneath another block. I'll say quotes and then enter tab just to just to nest it and then paste and then enter again and voila there you have it i said that wrong there's just one little thing there but that's okay now why do i like to do that because you know i like to use my my um, book summary so templates um, book summary and now if i want to hide that i can just say control up and i can hide all my quotes and then i can add all my quotes back so there we go um, the other little value add that i that i found which is um, really really useful is this plugin a google chrome extension that allows you to take articles from a web page um, and send it directly to your kindle so i've chosen this article which is another great article. I'll actually just link it in the description as well. Um, thanks to Nick for sending this. And I will, I just go to push to Kindle over there. And then it loads this, um, this interface. This is a free site or well, you get um, 20 articles for free per month. And if you read a lot of articles, you might exceed that and then you can pay and you know, it's very, very good at formatting articles in a great way for your Kindle. And then you just enter your Kindle email address. You can find that on the Amazon, um, on your Amazon account. And that's it. That's how you get articles to Kindle very easily. So I hope that video helped and yeah, enjoy the article and enjoy getting your notes into LogSeq.